Planning for a major new development north of downtown La Crosse is at a critical point. City leaders say a plan that will help guide developers and investors for the Riverside North neighborhood is ready to go before the La Crosse Common Council. News 8's Mal Meyer joins us in our newsroom to explain what this document means for the project as a whole. For this type of development, city officials need to rezone the more than 65 acre space to become what's called the Plan Development District. As part of this, they've created a document to show more details about what is envisioned for the site. That's what the Common Council will be considering, and it provides new insight into what people might see once buildings start going up. The Riverside North Development Plan has made its way through the city committees. The document is part one of the process, essentially a general master plan to show certain land use expectations. So what are the buildings going to look like? Uh, what are some of the uh, parking requirements? What are the transportation network look like? It's still a long way to go before any shovels go into the ground. It is, but it's a critical step. As it establishes the legal right to use the property for its intended use. It also validates the originally completed publicly driven master plan that was done in 2014. They've done a really nice job of putting together this plan based on the public input from 2013. The document isn't just used for those working on the project, but for the general public to understand how much space will be used for retail, offices, or housing. It's um, adding more uh, affordable housing for many people, whether it's uh, young professionals, senior citizens. Barb Jansen represents District 3, which includes the Riverside North site. In this plan available on the city's website, people can see potential guidelines on everything from lighting to building materials to signage. To me, it makes me want to move when I look at that plan. It's like, wow, it'd be so nice to live right there. She says it's really encouraging and exciting to see the project taking shape after all these years. It's kind of like when you're remodeling your house and it just seems like you're not making any progress and then all of a sudden you get to a point where, oh, yes, this is all worth it. The second step of this process will be to create a plan with some of the finer details, and that will have to go through committees and be approved by the council. Gilman says that while this is being created, the developer and the redevelopment authority could be looking at investors and eventually start negotiations. Mike? Okay, thanks a lot, Mal. Bidding for construction could begin in the fall or winter of 2020, and a groundbreaking is expected to happen sometime in 2021.